Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Knott's are away to Dover. Knott's head into this game in good form. We've won three of our last four games. We moved up to eighth last Saturday with a 2-0 win over Fylde. That has now since become tenth because Solihull and Barnet won their games in hand in midweek. Today will be a tough game. Dover are seventh. We will go above them in the table if we win. We could potentially move up into the playoffs as well. If we do win and results go our way. So yeah, come on knots, come on you boys, let's do this. Right, so we're here at services. I've won the first quiz on the coach and I want to sign a picture of Sam Osborne. So yeah, that was good. I think we're in Luton at the minute. I think we're about two hours away still from Dover. <laughs> Team news is out, one changes to the starting 11, Ben Turner replaces Damian McCrory, Nathan Tyson is back on the bench, but we haven't got a goalkeeper on the bench either, so yeah, please don't get sent off Sam. The goal bench is five, so number one, Yusuf Mersin, 12, Ricky Guest, 15, Curtis Cumberbatch, 21, Wesley Jeffrey, and 20. Both teams at either end. Dover hit the ball within like three minutes. And Enzio with a good run there. He found Thomas who put it over the bar. <laughs> Apart from that, Knotts really haven't started that well. Goal. Wes Thomas could finish, he'll be in League One. What a shot was parried by Wargan, Dover goalkeeper, and Thomas, all he has to do is tap it in and he's hit it straight at him. Time Dover 2, Knotts 2. Another point, three games unbeaten. Regan Booty and Sam Slocum, probably the best players for Knotts today. Finally back after a long day. Full time Dover 2, Knotts 2. A draw was a fair result. An alright performance, nothing spectacular. Three games unbeaten. Standout players for Knotts Regan Booty. 
controlled possession well and ran the game in the centre of midfield. Sam Slocum made two very good saves to keep Knotts in it. And Enzio Baldwin played well as well. Always brought the ball forward. Like I say, a draw, a fair result. We just lacked that clinical pass in the final third. We looked very comfortable in possession. But when we got to the final third, we just we lacked key decision making with the fun with the final pass. And that's that's where um a draw is turned into a win. We're down to 13th, but the gap between 6th place Barnet and 15th place Hartlepool is only 4 points. We're now heading into back-to-back -back home games, Dagenham and Redbridge on Tuesday, and then Torquay next Saturday. That'll be a good indicator of where we might be come the end of the season. A decent away point. Now we just need to keep this unbeaten run going and make sure we get back up the league table. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Tuluche.